you, Sharon, and we can make the most of the time we've got with our guests this morning. Thank you so much, Gary. Good morning, everyone, and my name is Sharon Whiteman, and I have some guest speakers here, and some of them are hiding. Colleen and Julie, you can put your cameras on now if you like. Um, if you can, if you can't, that's okay. Um, and uh, we're here today, there they are. We're here today to celebrate everything that was the 2020 Australasian Conference, which, um, and all of us, forgive us, we're gonna have our notes because we wanna do a good job of um, giving you the best hint of what happened there for those of you that couldn't attend. And I know some of I can see did attend, so we're just gonna relive, it was just such a good conference. And um, you know, the, the uh, venue, wasn't it exquisite? It was just, you know, it was, there's just surprises of beauty at every corner, everywhere you went. So um, this is gonna be very informal. Yeah, exactly, Rhonda, there is always a different perspective. Um, this is gonna be very informal. We're just gonna go around and celebrate everything which is 2020 conference. And we'll start by just sharing a little bit about ourselves. I know Mike has to leave at 9.30 to go out and be a brave, fiery. So thank you for your service, Mike. Um, we'll start with Rachel and Mike and just say hi, who you are, how long you've been with Manatech, and maybe why, why you're passionate about Manatech. Uh, you're still muted. No, Good morning, Sharon, Gary, and that's Diana's hiding there anywhere. And just before I start, I just want to thank you again for that amazing commitment because that's like 17 years <laughs> sneaking along there and um, just connecting the field and cross-legging the field, which is just amazing. Shows us your heart for Manatech. So Mike and I, we've been with Manatech um, probably um, 18, 20 months now. And um, this was our first conference that we attended. And um, we are here in Tari on the Mid-North Coast. And um, our, our story of why we love Manatech and I'm passionate about the story is that Mike's had a, um, a need for that with a, a crazy sort of health accident um, probably now 18 months ago. It was, around, I was, it was two months after his accident I joined up, joined with Manatech and um, that's an amazing, he became really deconditioned after that and then with Manatech products his body was able to rebuild itself um, in time and, and uh, the medical model couldn't offer us anything there um, at that time and so we found Manatech and um, that's why we're here and passionate about what we're doing. Yeah, yeah so I'll just add to that so um, yeah our journey um, w was started by my uh, a trauma, traumatic accident but um, it's just been such a um, just a great change. About 20 years ago, I was diagnosed with a, um, a condition called Crohn's disease. And um, for 20 years, um, it's sort of been an uncertainty there. And um, I haven't been medicated, haven't used, um, um, yeah, I haven't used any of the immunosuppressants and that that other people would use. So, um, but yeah, I had a traumatic injury almost two years ago now. And um, part of my recovery, um, um, my recovery wasn't going so well. But um, yeah, thanks to Manatech. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm here here today. I'm about 25 kilos heavier than I was. So I got down to 62 kilos. Um, and yeah, but nutrition is, is the key. That's what I want to say. And, and Manatech um, just definitely hits that box, um, especially with what's going on in the world around us at this point in time with our immunity as well. Absolutely. Mike, I can remember meeting you for the first time about 18 months ago, I think it was. Yeah. And you, you hardly recognizable yourself so vibrant and healthy now in comparison so god bless manatech <clears throat> what we have is so important absolutely and it was, um, so exciting, it was so exciting for me to meet you at conference too i see you every <laughs> saturday morning you know it's almost like i see you every day but it was it was really nice to meet you in the flesh and um yeah i was just so excited it's my first conference so thank you likewise that's what we all another element isn't it that sometimes we don't touch on when we're um debriefing the conference is that the connections with the community you know like it just builds on what we get to do in the virtual way um and yeah we all love that so uh colleen tell us a bit about you and why you love manatech uh, i think you're muted there colleen okay good morning sharon good morning. everybody can hear me obviously 
Great. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. And um, lovely story, you guys. Lovely to hear that. Thank you again um, for inviting us on this morning's call. Just a little bit about me, I guess. Quite simply, the gift of Manatex technology certainly changed my health, continues to this very day. And the company of Manatech has changed the way I live my life. So um, I owe a lot to the, to the gift of Manatech, the company and where they, where they stand. And just um, quite simply, you know, several years ago, I was chronically unwell um, with inflammation. And it was three and a half years of being rather sick and unwell and not much change in, in that three and a half years and in a lot of pain. Uh, it was my dad that really told me about uh, the technology of glycans. I had a look at it. The science did make sense to me. I, I understood that if we could make ourselves healthy, then maybe I've got a chance at making me healthy or restoring my health again. Uh, that's exactly what happened. It took a little while. It took about eight months, but I just didn't give up. You know, um, In that eight months, um, I shared this technology with other people and I saw their health change rather quickly and dramatically, quicker than my own. So I learned a big lesson there that Everyone has a different time frame, you know, sometimes in, into when those outcomes are going to happen. From there, I've never looked back. I've never stopped putting glycans into my body every day. I've never stopped learning. And um, I don't know where I'd be without this company of Manatech. And then, of course, the gift of being able to share it with others, um, the excitement around that. Um, I used to work full time in a bank. Now I only work 10 hours a week in a bank. I have my clinic that I operate two days a week and, and um, have a lifestyle. And, and so I enjoy it very much. So thank you. Thank you, Colleen and Julie. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Um, this is my first time doing this. So I'm feeling a little bit apprehensive and a bit nervous. But um, as we learned at the conference, we've got to um, take that uncomfortable feeling and look at it as um, an opportunity to grow and develop. So here I am, I'm growing and I'm developing. <laughs> um, I've been in Manit involved with Manitech for must be nearly 15 years now. And I was always interested in health. I didn't particularly have any um, challenges that I wanted to address, but um, my dear mum heard about it and invited me to a meeting and I heard about the technology and the science and realised that um, I knew that there was something wrong with our food chain and our nutrition that we were getting, but I didn't um, realise what it was. And at that meeting, it really, um, the penny dropped for me um, and I didn't know what green harvesting was. And Judy Abbott was the lady that was... Um, giving the talk and she said, does anyone here not know what green harvesting is? And I put, I was the only one, I put my hand up and I'd never <laughs> heard of the term. And um, then she explained what it was and oh, then I realised, yes, so I could see why. But since then I've become, I'm a farmer and I've become very interested in the health of our soil. And now I'm learning from like soil scientists and people like that, that um, it's what's not in our soil also that's, um, you know, having a big, um, a big influence on the nutrition not even being in our food. So even if it's grown organically, it's still not, um, the nutrition is just not there. So, mm. and uh, yeah, so I've, I've got a little farm that I run. My husband passed away seven years ago, so I've picked up that um picked up with that and doing that and and I also work um, I have two children and three little grandchildren that are arriving a bit later this morning help Nana pick all my pears off my tree um, so yeah that, and I live in a remote um, little town of well, there's only 44 people that live in my little closest little town but um, Port Lincoln is my centre and that's 50 kilometres away, so it's not too, I'm not that isolated, but um, yeah, so I haven't got many, any Manatechers around me, so I love the conference, I love my Manatech family, so yeah, that's, that's me. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Yeah, we're blessed to have you and I know um, Julie's part of our little team that meets every week for some time now, that's also 
you know, we're all so in love with Manatech and for good reason. Um, for those who don't know my background, I've been with Manatech for about 22 years this year. And same reason as is reflected <laughs> in this little panel in that my, I was unable to work. I was so unwell and I'd been unable to work for some time. And like Colleen, my, it took me about 18 months really to turn that around. Um, but when I looked back, um, I'd probably been sick my whole life with things and um, it's just, a, it's been a blessing for me and it's, it's changed my life and my family's life. And, you know, I have, especially, you know, as Gary is talking, we're in a quite an unstable health and uncertain health situation around the globe right now. And we know that, you know, it's not a magic bullet, but we have all the tools possible and the best tools possible to make a difference in that situation. So my kids are learning all about immune safety and support and, what the, these nutrients do when they go in their body and why you have to do it every day. And I'm working around taste needs of kids between Immunistart and which Amber Toast and how to flavor it in this way and that way. But it's like, nope, this is non-negotiable. We're doing this. So uh, that's the reason why we're passionate. You know, not only uh, the lifestyle stuff too, actually, because it's, that's changed my life, my ability to have a career um, and a livelihood that I can work around my children and, and in the values that are important to me. I used to be a, a clinical nurse specialist in critical care, and I started to be disengaged because I didn't agree with what I saw with ha was happening every day as I started to wake up. Um, so I can do everything aligned to my values in this business, and that's probably of supreme importance to me. So, um, We've all agreed. I think we'll get Mike and Rachel to start because Mike has to go early. Um, and I, we'll probably all have some different highlights. So you can just start what you're, don't have a problem with looking at your notes because I'm going to, I don't remember it all. I've got quite a few different things that were important to me there. So Rachel and Mike. Okay. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, everybody. Um, I've been reflecting so much content um, in, in our time away and I don't want to overlook and, and not mention people, but um, just, uh, I, I really, so many, um, so many good messages I received. Um, it's really encouraging. Um, I'll start with Naomi Joy. Um, just Naomi, just sharing her, her journey. Um, we, we so often see, um, uh, it's a bit like social media and Facebook where we, we see when everything's going well, we see successes and wins and we all look beautiful on Facebook and Instagram, but, uh, it's what goes on behind the scene. Um, you know, sometimes we're like a duck, you know, we're gracefully floating across the water, but we're paddling like mad underneath. And so I, I just, uh, I was really encouraged by Naomi's, uh, just her, uh, just a sharing of her, her, her struggle and her wins it just made it uh, very real for, for me and, and, and encouraging as well to know that, um, you know, that I can do that too. Um, and so that, that was just, uh, I was just really blessed by Naomi's talk and also by the recognition she received as well. Um, being a newbie in eight, 18 months, not quite eight, uh, two years, um, I'm excited about where this business is going to go with Manatech and just with the beautiful people. Um, spoke, um, Adam Fraser spoke um, just about um, happiness. You know, I, um, prior to his talk, I wake up every day and my aim is to be happy, but then I realise um, happiness is not the pinnacle. Once you get there, that's not the end. So. Uh, and I realised I do like the struggle. Um, as I shared, I've had a health struggle. Um, our, yeah, our family, ongoing uh, finances it can be a struggle. So um, I'm in a good place. <laughs> I think we're all in a good place. We're we're here, and we, we're um, you know we're working towards improving our lives and the lives of others. And Manatech is a vehicle. It's the tool. Um, it, it it gives us the opportunity to create relationships and to restore health and um, just such a beautiful thing. So. Um, and, and from that, uh, also the third space, I, I, I um, am a fitter machinist by trade. And when I come home from work, sometimes I'm grumpy dad or grumpy husband. So uh, that's given me something to think about there is uh, perhaps I can do an attitude adjustment and um, yeah, just, uh, just be a better person in that. So that was a challenge. Um, Yossi Ginsberg, I could have listened to him for another three hours. Uh, at the start, I was uh, a bit horrified by some of the detail and, um, but yeah, just some, um, uh, just amazing story of overcoming adversity and just, um, 
yeah, just uh, really encouraging. I, I found myself at work having a bad day one day and I thought to myself, what would Yossi do? And um, I instantly changed, um, you know, just because I was having a bad day at work was nothing like a bad day in the jungle. Um, and quickly also James Hannon um, with his story branding um, and also um, being the guide, not being the hero of people's stories. Unfortunately, being a fireman, um, I never really see myself as a hero, but I know that firemen are put up um, as heroes um, and that's probably through our selfless giving, but it sits well with me to be the guide, to be, um, to be helping other people on, on their adventure and their um, struggle and their pursuit of happiness. So, uh, I want to honour James in that. Um, it, it really encouraged me, and um, and um, and and his success also is encouraging to me. Um, and, and probably last of all, oh, actually, the launch of our new product. Yeah. That was exciting. First in the world, uh, first in Australia. So, um, I've been using that every day, and um, I, I uh, it, it's I'm basically having it for breakfast. Um, every morning so um yeah and I, I i can say i think it's working really well so just to wrap up we learned a lot more than that too we also learned, learned about um uh the, some um oh, just a new um mana pay um i'll probably get rachel to elaborate more on that but we heard, heard from chris and jenny uh, are just so inspired by the company and and um it, it you know, it, it just encourages me. And I'm looking forward to giving up um, my full-time work. I work two jobs at the moment. I'm a fireman and a fitting machinist. And I'm looking forward to, um, oh, and I better, better forget. Because I'm time limited, but um, I, I just got to spend time with um, people in my team. And, and it's just nice to celebrate the recognition for the years that, you, that you've been in the business, Sharon, and, and the others. Um, I just know I'm under something good. And I'm so looking forward to... Um, the Dubai incentive trip, trip, which I didn't, I didn't mention, but um, but just catching up with you all and just um, being a guide in your stories and yeah, let's let's do this thing because we're onto something really good and um, yeah, just I just want to let you know I love you all and I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to see where we all go and I might hand you back to my beautiful wife, uh, 2019's rookie of the year, Rachel Davy. <laughs> well done, mate. Yes. Um, it was an amazing time, and uh, for those of you at conference that actually realised that we brought our children with us, so um, we have a nearly 13-year-old daughter and an 18-year-old son, and I just wanted to impart to them that there's something different out there, and I knew it would be amazing, because you see all those photos in the brochures from the previous year, and I don't think my children or many children would experience something like that, you know, to go to a black tie event and stay in the Marriott for a week, and and things like that. So we just wanted to expose our children to something different. And I was just hoping that my son would um, gather that the network marketing business model that is not taught mainstream is something that could be an option to him, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, and I think that's um, what we wanted to expose. And we had a chat with him even again last night about um, residual income streams and he, he, he's all over it. So, um, but my highlights from the, the um, the conference was a little bit more to do with the revelation of what who Manatech is and Manatech corporate is. And um, just like Julie, we were the only Manatech associates in Tari that we, we knew or know of <laughs> anyway. And so we felt we were starting um, on our own. And so, you know, understanding that it was a, a business that um, paying your income tax to your accountant and is really made me feel like this is something I've chosen to do this but I'm on my own you know so when you're starting out and don't have like my upline was a couple of hours away and um, my mentor Rod Gilchrist was even more hours away and so um, you know in that space I just thought it was my own but then when I got to conference I thought my goodness me this is my business I'm turning up for uh, their conference which is personal development and business development so don't underestimate that that's not a personal development journey going to conference because the amazing growth in um, our thinking, you know, Mike's just shared about the third space shared by, um, and what Dr. Adam Fraser shared as well. That's all just expanding our mind. So it was a personal development and a business development conference. And so, 
if I've got my own business like anybody else has their own business at home, what I realised was that um, there is a team of people who we call corporate running around, <laughs> how I've sort of conceptualised it, running around trying to help us in major ways, <laughs> you know. So even if we hold the conference for what it is, they are actually um, brought speakers like Sam Lees as well. So they challenged our dreaming with, um, what's his name? Yossi. Yes, yes. They, they, um, they, they realise that this, this world of e-commerce is real and it has to be there. We have to be equipped for us. Or here I'm a little person in Tari with my own business and this corporate amazing machine brought Sam Lees, a network marketing social media expert, to speak to us. Also put um, James Hannon and I believe Naomi Joy is very knowledgeable in this area. Pop them up on the stage for us. And this is my little business. And they put them up there for us um, to help us grow. And um, and then, you know, I'll just go quickly through. I know this information is probably filtered down through your uplines and everything like that. But, you know, in order for us to be paid, they've increased the first order bonus um, from 15% to 25%. And that's your, your any customer um, who purchases, that's um, straight away payday, really, you know, at 25% um, on that. We've also, um, you know, wanting to, us to be able to sort those business builders and customers out in our businesses pretty much straight away by making the loyalty program that customers and associates receive 20%. So that you're actually not having customers sign as associates to actually have the increase in the loyalty credit, because I would do that, sign up that way, but not intending to build a business. So this way, if you've got someone who's chasing just to, to have a discount, because we're all after a discount and vouchers, but they want to remain in the customer space they can. And uh, that's really good because you're going to know which associates wanting to build and choose to build business from mm. home. So I thought, wow, that's great. They're sort of <laughs> sorting the sheep from the goats. I don't know if that's an analogy we can apply. But the other thing is the introduction of mana pay, which you can opt into. Um, but you can actually be paid weekly as well. So, you know, sometimes you can just come home at night if you wanted to and you could make some phone calls. You know, we've actually got, you know, with what's going on in our world at the moment, challenging health of all nations, that, you know, you can make three phone calls at night just saying, you you know, you're interested, if you're interested in immune support products in relation to the impending flu season, which we have every year, you could actually do three sales and then actually realise that money in the following week, you know. So, um, and that's an option for all of us to, to do activity and recognise it. And I think, you know, recruiting or enrolling younger associates in the millennials, they probably want to see money every week as well from the activity that they're doing. Um, and also the customer affiliate program that was launched here in Australia as a trial or a pilot has been adopted through Manatech. So, um, you know, when you've got, I call them champion customers. Do you know when you've got customers that won't sign up to be an associate, but they get, you know, sing your praises, sing your products praises. They're my customer champions. And so here's an opportunity to reward those customer champions with um, loyalty points going forward um, and when they, ref when they refer people um, to our product range. So, you know, here I am thinking, I pay my own income tax and I have my own little business in Tari, but there's this corporate machine running around behind us, exposing us to greater business opportunities, greater personal development opportunities, and and I'm not really paying them. You know, they've got amazing IT teams <laughs> behind reconstructing our website for us. You know, if I was a small brick and mortar business downtown Tari, I don't think I have those guys in the back shed. So um, that's where it's just an amazing experience to actually understand corporate more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks, Rachel. We'll have a time to go around in case there's anything you want to add at the end. So just jot it down. Um, <clears throat> who'd like to go next? Colleen? Sure. That was lovely hearing from Mike and Rachel, and they've pretty much covered everything off. Um, I guess just to add to that, um, th hearing them talk is, is probably, you know, like you say, Rachel and Mike, Manatech provide everything for us. 
a lot of it comes down to us as human beings. How are we going to, we're the messenger, how are we going to get the messenger message out there? And our reality is really, it's, it's us. So I'm really big with personal development and I believe conference is really a time for that personal development because it encompasses um, the whole celebration of our time together is all about learning, um, inspiration, motivation, practical tips, all that kind of thing. And like you said in the beginning um, uh, about um, Sharon, you know, you walk in the door and the first impression, the Marriott, it was absolutely gorgeous. It was like transforms you into another little state. So it takes you out of your normal mundane environment and allows your mind to capture something gracious and big which I thought was really lovely um, because to help be in that mindset to receive the information that's shared with us at conference is really important. So um, from the very moment you stepped in there, we were wowed. You know, I think um, put $5 a week aside, everybody, so that you can, you know, now, so that you can attend, you know, help towards that cost of attending conference in 2021 because, if you're serious about your business and about you and your life going forward, we have to do everything possible to get there. So if you haven't been to conference for a while, please make it say yes to 2021. All right. Um, I think um, we, they gave us these gift bags. Remember when we got our registrations and I got, you know, two boxes of Amber Toe's life just for showing up. Mm. You know, like you said, Mike, you know, how generous is, is Manatech to us? They, they're incredibly, they always have been, haven't they? They're a very generous company. You know, um, no one gives, no one's ever given me the opportunity that Manatech have given me in my life in all kinds of reasons and to grow as a human being um, and a person and hopefully serve my team and, and my customers and my community better. I think um, all those things that you guys talked about, and I come back to Dr. Adam Fraser, I love that. He talked about the three circles, you know, we're in our comfort zone and it's nice being in the comfort zone. <laughs> but of course, if we stay there, nothing changes. So encouraging us to stretch a little bit and just stretch and see what we can do. So we all need encouragement for that. And then the next circle out is strive where it can become a bit stressful. So he, he believes in going in and out through those circles of comfort, stretch and see you. <laughs> hero <laughs> yeah. um, and and to and to stretch and to strive because strive is where the gold is so adam fraser all the speakers were amazing but he was realistic because let's face it i you know everyone's in a struggle today um of some kind i mean this is life really it, this is our life it is a little bit of struggle mixed with good times and but you know everything's going calmly then all of a sudden you, you know a struggle hits too because it's as we're growing as as human beings i suppose and he said the most dangerous people on the planet were what remember he said the bored people who are bored because you get into all sorts of trouble if you're bored so embrace the struggle enjoy it just realize it's just a natural part of things yes yossi me too I think what Mike said, uh, something goes wrong during the day. And I think, oh, how would Yossi handle this? <laughs> this is nothing come being, you know, being in the Bolivian jungle, you know, three weeks trying to survive. I mean, you could hear a pin drop. We did not want him to stop talking, did we? Mm -hmm. And so he was massive. And all the speakers really um, complimented each other, didn't they, really? And what Naomi's story from the heart and reminded us, yeah, we, we all have that struggle. Um, and of course, Sam Lee's very practical information, who you are as a person. I can talk, you know, we can, if there's time at the end, we can go over that. Um, just uh, what I also really liked is when someone says to you, what do you do? Remember that piece? Mm -hmm. and how to answer that question? What do you do? And it might have been James, I can't remember now, but someone gave us a really good analogy of how to do that. Well, you know how people today are struggling with... Um, what can they do with their immune system or how can they support the immune system for their family and their health and their children? Well, what I do is I show people how they can actually do that. So answer that question as simply as that. Um, so there were lots of highlights, um, meeting up with old friends, making new ones, beautiful food, chance to dress up. Look, it's, it's for me just to finish off. It just sets the year ahead for me because I need my mind to be reset. I need my, my outlook to be correct. 
I need to get rid of any negativity and start, you know, make sure that positive energy is in me to give me the sustenance to get through the year. So I loved it. Thank you. Thanks, Colleen. And Julie. Um, isn't it lovely sharing all these again? You feel like I feel like I want to go back to conference and do it all over again and <laughs> take better notes and yeah, enjoy all the lessons. Um, um, Colleen, yes, that just brought to my mind. I always feel when I go to conference, it's like me plugging into the 240 volt power instead of just my little, you know, backup battery power pack for my for my, for my phone. So. For me, um, yeah, it's, I, I would not go to conference, you know, like it's so important for me to go. Um, um, and Yossi, um, his, his closing statement was, don't stand between a young man and his dream. So he had a dream and he pursued it and um, what a journey. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, so it was about dreams and, you know, don't let anything get in the way of your dream. Um, and I really enjoyed Dr. Adam Fraser. I thought that he was great. And um, my friend that came with me, I bought two guests, actually. I want to talk about that in a minute. Um, but she bought both of the books, Drive and um, The Third Space. So um, she's given me that one to read while she's reading the other and then we'll swap. But we were laughing at each other because on the way home, on the plane, we've both got our noses stuck in their books and we say, oh, look at this book, read that. You know, and then we go like that. <laughs> we were laughing because, um, you know, um, we were getting just getting so much out of little snippets out of the book and it's a type of book that you can just open up at any page and read something and get a big lesson. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to having, to getting Strive and, and read that. And it really resonated with me about the happiness bit. Um, mm -hmm. And I can see now that happiness isn't reaching the goal. It's the, it's the actual doing it, um, the journey. That's where, and achieving the struggles, that's where it, uh, um, it really is. So, yeah, that, that was very, very good. Um, what else? Happiness has perverted our relationship with struggle. That's something that um, Adam said. Um, and reframe my view of discomfort. So I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to draw those arrows up on a piece of paper and pin it up on my wall just to remind myself that, uh, yes, it's an opportunity to grow and to develop. So, um, but what I wanted to talk about was the personal development. Um, I, 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 took, I brought two of my friends with me um, this year, one for the first time, and I think Ian's attended, might be his fourth um, conference, and they are both customers of mine. And I said to them, I, particularly Tristan, I said, well, they'll be talking business. I don't know whether you'll, you know, you just take from the conference what you want to take. Well, they came away <laughs> so excited and so thankful for me to invite them and to bring them. Um, and Ian particularly, I can see that he's grown and like he trusted me to start with for the products. And he's been taking them long enough now that he actually stopped for three weeks when he was away on a holiday and came back and felt terrible. So he knows he went back on them and he won't ever do that again. So he, <laughs> he, knows, he knows that the products work. And I think over the last couple of years, because he's interacted with a few different people at the conference, like he's, he's talked to Dr. Steve Nugent, um, last year, he talked to Liz Chamberlain. I introduced him to Liz because he's got a little granddaughter that's got compromised health. And then this year, he actually sat next to Liz at the dinner on the Saturday night. And we heard firsthand her story with her little boy, Declan. And um, Tristan was listening you know, she just loves listening to all the stories. And Rachel, she loved listening to your stories. 
and Poppy, you know, all the stories that were told. And what a difference that's made. And, and they've just really thanked me for, you know, allowing her to tag along with me. And um, they're both very keen to come back next year. So, you know, maybe even some of the people that are just customers and not interested in the, in the business can, um, you know, get a lot out of the conference. Um, yeah, so just being around, we forget a little bit that it's such a wonderful attitude and a lo lovely, um, friendly environment full of people with purpose and um, wanting to help people that we sort of forget that a little bit. But the impact that it had on those two was just amazing. And that, that was really my highlight, my biggest highlight, I think, just to see their delight and what they got out of it. That's amazing, Julie. That's, I think I got goosebumps listening to that story. Mm. So is that complete for you? Um, yeah, uh, well, yeah, I've got lots of, there was lots of gems all over the conference and even mm. like the social media. I'm, I'm not big on social media and it's an area that I have to put my L plates on. Um, so, but even through James and um, Pam Lee's talk, I still got a lot out of that. So. Um, there was little snippets that I could get out of that. So, yes, no, I thought it was absolutely fantastic um, conference. Yeah, me too. I just want, um, I've got a quote. I'll just add the quote from Dr. Adam Fraser. He specifically referred it to the happiness movement and how it's ruined things for everyday people because they start to think if they're not happy, they're doing something wrong. Whereas he said, life is the, the beauty of life. This isn't as quote, but his message is the beauty of life is the combination of all kinds of ups and downs and highs and lows. And it's the struggle. I don't know if anybody remembers exactly what he said about, is it, uh, it's not Kuwait. Was it, um, where is he consulting to? What country? <clears throat> Kuwait, was it? Um, Dubai. Not, not Dubai, was it? No, it was another it was one. It was in Kuwait. When they, they Kuwait. They brought him in because they weren't happy because they had so much money and <laughs> no problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, and like we're led to believe we're not happy because we haven't achieved or, or you know, reached a certain goal or done a certain thing, and that happiness should be all the time. And he was, he was it's ruined, you know, the Western world, really. It's not just the Western world. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Mustn't have, I mustn't have spoken enough this morning yet. Um, and I, I, that really impacted me because I've done 30 years or more of personal development and I hadn't heard it positioned that way. And it, it, it's true. It is, isn't it? Because it, people feel bad if they're not happy and it's just happiness is just one part of the whole. So I thought, I think that that was sort of probably life changing for a lot of people in hearing that. Mm -hmm. And were you going to say something else, Julie? Um, yes, Sharon. I, I just, Sometimes finances is what stops people from going to the conference and finances have never been real overflowing with abundance for me. So a few years ago, I actually started up a, a, another bank account away from my normal everyday banking and I put um, money goes into there um, automatically every month. So when it comes conference time, I go to my other bank and my other bank account and have a look and, oh, it's nice, you know, because the money's just sitting there ready to go. So, um, you know, that might be something that someone wants to do just to make um, look, the finances of getting to the conference a bit easier. It is life-changing, isn't it? You know, that's, discomfort triggers evolution. We human beings, we all grow through evolution. That was another part of Adam Fraser's message. And that, you know, your commitment to be there. I love seeing you every year, Julie. <laughs> That's great. Has any, anything else arisen for anybody else you want to add? Well, um, Sharon, I would just like to um, add, because I thought someone would share this, but what's the deal with an incentive trip, you know? So um, I've been with health and nursing for 25 years. And um, they haven't even awarded me a plastic pen yet. I think the one that I have, I've actually accidentally stolen, you know. And, uh, and so, you know, I think, wow, in the next sort of six months, five months, the energy that I put into my own personal business to make my own income, um, then turn around and then there's this amazing incentive 
incentive trip, you know, and we're not just talking, oh, you know, we'll take you out for a cup of tea because that would be nice even if health would be bad. But it's, um, let's fly you across the world and spend some time over there in Dubai, you know, like it's, it's actually just mind blowing, you know, um, and, you know, we've got such a product and I know I'm speaking to all of you on behalf of you, I'm going to speak on behalf of you, that we have a amazing <laughs> product. And amazing product that changes lives. And an amazing woman called Sharon Whiteman says, you know, this is what people are praying for, you know. And um, and then they're going to drive me to Dubai <laughs> doing that activity. So, you know, um, for those of you out there, I, I know teams are doing amazing Zoom calls. Jenny Messenger's doing amazing Zoom calls. Jump on those calls just to get the business um, activity tips and tools and ideas and things like that. Because... You know, if you just don't think you could actually get there or meet the points qualification, just do the activity. Because again, as I said, I'm in this little, I've perceived my business that I'm on my own. And, um, but clearly we're not. But going forward, that even if I strive to do any of the activity that is um, recommended and, and we're all pacing partners and things like that, my business is simply going to grow and my home income is going to grow. And then if I happen to have a trip on the end of that, that is just all so mind-blowing. So um, people's out there, you know, jump on your t up the upline leaders' calls and things like that and just grow your business. If you're going to grow your business anyway. But, hey, if they fly across the world, that's, a, that's another bonus as well. Yeah. I know Julie was impacted by that as well, weren't you, Julie? Yes, um, like going for incentives is something that I've always, I've never, never um, aspired to, I guess. But um, just Jenny Messenger saying, you know, like just go for it and, and look at it as business growth. Don't look at it, you know, because uh, for the trip as such, but um, have a go, you'll grow your business anyway. Mm -hmm. Colleen, were you going to say something? Yeah, look, I, I agree. Um, the incentive, um, Manatech, again, are incredibly generous. This incentive, and hopefully you've all had a chance to really itemise it and look through it, it is um, very attainable, it's very doable, and it's going to grow yourself and your team and your business. So you just have to make a decision around it and say yes, and then just get stuck in and make it happen. It's, it's all there for us, all the help is there. Reach up to your upline, do things together rather than on your own. You know, have those coffee meetings and mornings regularly, even if it's via Zoom, if you're living long way away from each other. Um, what Sam Lee's talked about in terms of the social media thing, um, I've been working on that this week and personally putting up posts and personally, and as someone comments on it, personally messaging them, hey, thank you for, for liking this post. You know, what is it that you particularly like or, or about this or what would you like some information on? Not salesy, just being that guide, you know, that we talk about guiding someone uh, through and personally message them and that way it's sort of, People feel safer that way. It's not over. The conversation isn't open for everyone to see. Um, find out what they want, what what they need help with right now. So, reach out to to all your all your Facebook friends as, as well. So um, the incentive is fantastic. I've, I've been on lots. I've been fortunate enough to be on lots of incentives. Yes, you have to put effort in. Um, yes, you have to be focused. But is it worth it? Absolutely, incredibly worth it. So. Um, yeah, who, who would have thought of Dubai? I got quite a surprise at that. You know, I'd had, I kept thinking, whereabouts? Where can we possibly go? <laughs> so it was a huge surprise. So it's fun. Let's yeah. go. <clears throat> and you can see another point um, is coming to mind when you're talking about this, the, the uh, I'm going to say extreme, that's probably not the right adjective, but experience of Jenny Messenger. Uh, you could just see her wisdom and business acumen um, on everything she had touched everything about the conference really including that you know and how much support we had and you know everybody listening today you will be included in this um, Chris uh, Simons you know he said I have the opportunity he has the privilege to travel all around the world and 
meet different leaders everywhere. And he said, the quality of leaders in Australasia is amazing. You guys have got this, like there's, you, you're a second to none in the world. Um, and he says, I can compare all regions. And so just really acknowledging yourselves. Um, Cause I think one of the things I, that's probably no, nobody else has this problem, but I have a hard time believing in myself. And, um, and sometimes I look back and I thought, gee, if I just had really fully 200% back myself on that, it, I would have gone instead of second guessing myself. And I really took that to heart with Chris, that we do have everything in this region that we need to bring us to, um, well, we need nanotech, need, um, people need nanotech, don't they? And in whatever way, um, I, I loved his leadership as well. And that particularly was impactful for me when he said that. And it's true, all of you here today, pass it on to those that be here. <clears throat> Um, I'm just smiling, Sharon. I've just seen Irene's um, comment here in the chat. And she thinks that uh, Chris could be a comedian in another life. <laughs> I love his sense of humour too. It's so dry. <laughs> and he makes fun of himself all the time, doesn't he? Remember when he said, this is my, did you say this is my serious face or this is my happy face? Which one, one of the know, others? You have to know him, don't you? Because some people think, oh, yeah. This Odd, you know, but we've not, we've not, we've come to know him over a few years now, so we, we know it. But uh, he has got that dry sense of humor, yeah, it's fair. yeah, dry with the twist of sarcasm. I think <laughs> it's, I like, I, I tickles my funny bone every time. So, I'm just looking at my notes here. Um, then just so you know, we have the opportunity to um, get some more training from Sam Lee's coming in the future. Um, you're uh, we'll also have an opportunity with James and so there's lots of different modalities out there to learn social media right now and from I learned different things from different people so I learned different things from you know, me and James as, that I did from Sam and the point is you know it's not about making one right or wrong over the other but to follow what pulls your heart and I actually I, I don't find is anybody I don't find it confusing because they're they're complementary the training that they both offer to, to us we're very lucky in this region to have those both those people and I know they're piloting something, I think, called M something in the U.S. with the, got a whole cross-line group of people in the U.S. Um, being led by Al Bala and some consultants doing the same thing there. And I think that will be available globally eventually. It's a pilot there. So there's some really, really good things. Um, and do a little or a lot on social media, but really especially if we're going to be social distancing for a while, <laughs> social media is quite safe from the viral point of view, isn't it? <laughs> Anything else that anybody would like to add? Yeah, just following on from what you said, Sharon, um, we all have the same commodity, right? But we're all individuals. So Sam Lee and, and, and you know, it's, it talked about your, your personal brand, you know, um, and so find out what you stand for, find out who you are and who you influence and just reach out that way. We don't need to be try to be somebody else. We're just you. So understand who you are and what's important for you. And then the people that resonate with that will resonate with you. So um, really celebrate that, if that makes sense. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So it's because it, people are attracted to different people and that's for the right reasons. You sort of need to, we're out there wanting to attract our tribe and we only attract our tribe to what we have to offer by being our authentic selves. And Sharon, I'd just like to um, acknowledge Colleen here on the call as well. Not only is she beautiful and elegant, but she is the winner of the Giving Spirit Award. And that, you know, the awards is all new to me to watch all of that at our first conference. Um, and so Colleen, it's great that you're on the call and um, well deserved. I, I believe that award goes to only very special people who I believe Sharon Whiteman is also a recipient in the past. So um, Colleen, I'm going to ask you a question. Please share a little bit about how you felt receiving the award and the acknowledgement of what you've done. Thanks, Rachel. Um... Yeah, just like you said, you know, the, the people beforehand, I must admit, I've always admired though that award <laughs> over the years um, and the people who have re been recipients of it. And um, it, um, I truly, I was sitting at this table, you asked the people that were sitting around me and as Jenny was reading out those attributes, you know, I was thinking, gee, that's hard or 
Whew, you know, <laughs> but in my head, I was thinking, actually, I do that. I do that. I do that. I do that. But never did I ever think that when Chris opened the envelope, it would be, Colleen, right? <laughs> the table around me, we just erupted, you know. So it was a real surprise. And I thank my peers and people who, you know, nominated my name, obviously. So I'm really grateful for that. I did meet um, Mike Forrest years ago when he was in, came to Wellington. Um, to do a talk, you know, and he really struck, it was a lot of years ago, and he really struck me, amazing man. Um, so I, I just feel, I don't even really think about it. I think we all do it, you know, but it's just um, um, being there for your team. When they feel down, try to find a way to build them up again, build the team up. Or when we lose momentum, try and think, okay, what can we do to bring the momentum back or a bit of excitement back? Um, it's a balancing act, I think, um, knowing who to give your time to, you know, because there's only so many hours in a day. But for me here in New Zealand, um, there are other teams in New Zealand here as well. And I just see us as the whole country of New Zealand working together. As, as I think Sharon said and you others said, you know, Manitech belongs to everybody. And our job is to try and get it out there. So. Yeah, I do love my, I do love putting my time and energy into Manitech. It's been great, but I love trying to do my best. Do I get it always right? No, <laughs> you know, I'm still learning as well. But you, one thing you touched on earlier was, I think you talked about it, Sharon, you know, when you don't believe in yourself, when someone doesn't believe, but you can believe it and you've got to believe it for them. And then after a while, they take on that belief and ownership, don't they? And they grow and develop. So I was truly impressed. The paper, local paper, did a wee write-up. My neighbours told the paper, not me. <laughs> Don't blow your own trumpet. Right? <laughs> they, they did, oh, here it is. Sort of Just happened to have it handy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing, Colleen. And here it is here, and it's so heavy. It weighs probably just about as much as my little dog weighs. <laughs> Two in one hand and this in the other. It weighs about the same. And it's a beautiful award. And um, thank you, Matthew. That's amazing. And, yeah. And I'm just grateful, you know, just, yeah, it was a total surprise. So I just humbled and thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. Very well deserved, Colleen. Thank you. I read a little aspect about the award was I loved the uh, Guard of Honour that um, um, Jenny mm. set up for the award because... Yeah, that was um, a great, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, she had lots of, lots of lovely touches throughout the conference. Mm. Mm. Absolutely, yeah, to be surrounded with that and recognise all the people, um, and there's so many more as well, but, you know, just recognise that integrity um, and keeping our values there, isn't it? You know, just keeping yeah. true to ourselves, keeping honest and value and just trying to do our best, serve, it's serving, mm -hmm. serving others, serving our community, and, and but like Adam said, you know, go through the struggle, we, we definitely all struggle. <laughs> Look what can happen as a result. And you do, all of us influence people's lives, don't we? We never underestimate that. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Um, Bev was just saying in the comments, uh, Jenny believes fun and laughter is the place for learning. And definitely it was a fun and exciting conference, wasn't it? I was just looking for a quote from Adam. Um, he said, discomfort triggers evolution and that we grow through that discomfort depends depending on the cho choices we make about that so as long as we don't quit or give up that discomfort is what's triggering us to be more and become more and have more and do more so i think you know our vehicle is it is such a trigger for that isn't it it's such a, a vehicle for that growth yeah when the pain is great enough you know um if hopefully it'll motivate us to to do something um because no one wants to keep living in that pain zone. Not really. No. I want to say one more thing and then we'll go around um, just to say, say what you want to say in completion. Um, another thing that Chris, he, he also spoke about the unstable um, regulatory environment for our, not only from the business, but from the wellness and what a shining star Manitech is in that, you know, so, you know, many of us might've had a wind over the years for strict rules and guidelines and some freedoms, removed um, um, but I think the writing is on the wall now that Manitech is a shining star in that and we will win in the regulatory environment even 
even though it makes us jump through a lot of hoops and it's so illogical and it's so has gov crazy government's hands all over it, um, that Manitech will be a shining star through that. So, you know, we've had been through the rocky waters and Manitech is just shining. And uh, I'm for one, I'm very proud to be, I can put hand on heart in full integrity and know I can put my, my integrity and my values on the line representing this company. So, so go around and just have an opportunity to say what you'd like to say in completion. Um, well, I would just like to encourage everybody that um, having experienced my first conference and um, everything that it entailed and with Jenny Messenger at the helm, I don't think that um, you can go wrong investing your time and energy into this business, but also um, all the corporate activities on the corporate calendar that you should prioritise getting to them. Because Jenny has, you know, as has come up in the comments there, um, learning environments are fun and that we can learn there. But at the same time, they're just bringing such quality gold to us that we could be successful on the ground. So yeah, make sure you're there. Mike and I will be there. We won't bring the kids this time because the black tie dinner will be much nicer. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, amazing experience. You must be there. Well, you know, I've, I've left kids in the room with some movies at some black tie dinner. So that's an option for <laughs> You pay for them a movie they want. <laughs> uh, Julie? Yes, well, I'd just like to encourage everybody to, to come along and perhaps um, encourage your customers to come along too um, um, if, you know, if they've got that interest. Um, yeah, open a bank, another bank account and pop some money away each month to um, you know, help pay for the trip. And, make it as um, stressful as uh, take the stress away um, there for the trip and yeah I just think um, introduce as many people as we can to this wonderful business that does change lives and um, health and yeah no I'm, I'm very thankful that I, I'm part of this Manatech family. Thank you Julie and Colleen? Thank you, everyone. Yeah, I, I think Manatech are perfectly positioned in the world right now and for the future. I feel confident, happy, feel proud to be connected to this company. Um, we have something truly special. It's a real gift. And once people understand that, you, you never lose it. Um, personal development, you know, just keep on with that. Um, if you're not sure what to say to people, you know, um, ask your upline, ask your team members for help, connect with people, try and reach out, just reach out. Hey, what's going on for you at the moment? You know, how can I help you or something um, like that? And I just want to say, um, you put some money aside each week, make a decision to be at conference next year, but don't wait for next year for something to happen. And the superfood is absolutely incredible. I immediately noticed a huge lift in my energy, but also um, my mental alertness. Just, I got really busy long days like everybody, huge work schedules of all sorts of projects I do. And I can remain relaxed and focused and, and just onto it. And that's that superfood. Wow, I, 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 people are enjoying it so just share that. Thank you. Uh, well done. Yeah. So much gratitude in the comments for all of you and your contributions. Thank you very much, ladies and Mike. Um, next week we have Karen Dennis. Really, we've got a no holds bar, barred FAQ call. Anything you want to ask, business, wellness, product, what to do, what not to do. Um, we're both pretty excited about it. We had a long talk about it last night. So we haven't done this before, but it's available to all of you. And she is one incredible leader in Manitech's family of leaders. So um, you'll want to be there. So see you next week, everybody. Thank you for being here and for your contributions. And we love you all. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Have everybody. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye.